Hey everybody. Oh man, you didn't even see me. <laughs> hey everybody. I'm here in Nashville. Actually, a little bit out of Nashville. I just made it out to Nashville. I'm heading down to Orlando. And uh, look at this boy. I'm, my face is going to go in and out. <laughs> um, all right. So we're in Nashville and we're in a hotel room. I just got set up like five minutes ago. I just got here. And um, so everything I'll hopefully be working. Um, we got this car to do. And so this is a great place to do it in Nashville. I think just south of Nashville, just a little bit. And so we're going to do the car in two colors. Remember, two colors, two colors, two colors. And um, I just ran down to the car. I forgot about the beers. I do have some beers from the last time I was in. When, um, where was I? Where was I just recently? <laughs> um, in Canuga. Canuga, in near Asheville and the Black Mountain. I went to a place that had um, art and brew, brews and stuff. So um, I got Tiny Bubbles. Tiny Bubbles um, beer, and this is a um, from Fanta Flora. And again, this is from Black Mountains, Black Mountains, um, North Carolina, North Carolina, when, when I was in Canuga. So let's just see what this tastes like. And cheers, everybody. Cheers. But tiny Bubbles. Oh, that's very good. I'm going to give this a nine. Very good. I think it was a, um, a brewery down there in um, near Black Mountains, near um, actually Montreat was where we were at. And so I'm looking at the, my photo. It's very, I'm very far away from the camera, so that's coming a little bit um, like that. But but let's go right to our right to our tabletop. I'm sorry I, I don't have the other things today um, because I had to get set up really quickly, and so I don't have my um, supplies supply list. Most of you guys know the supply list already. And um, I don't have my website, which is just my name, davidrbecker.com or beckerart.net. So just remember that. And so we're going to do a card today. Uh, this, should be, this should be fun. Let's see what I'll hear today. And I know we took last week off because I was in Canuga. It was a sure it was a fun um, place to do. And I hopefully, hopefully I get there next year too. And if there's any problems with the sound, I hope not. Um, but I think I got everything set up pretty quickly. And I think I got, <laughs> I, I think it's going to be pretty good. So hello, Tina, Maura, Raina, Kathy, Marianne, Sally, Sue, Phil, Pamela. Oh my gosh. Uh, sorry, I'm far away from my screen. <laughs> so uh, just uh, if you ask a question, I'll have to get my glasses on. Let me see if I can find my glasses. I'm sitting on a couch, actually. So I'll get my glasses when, I have, when you say ask questions. So two colors. Pick out your colors um, that you want. I'm going to pick these three colors that I just decided on. Uh, red, white, and blue. I'm going to make this very patriotic, and um, blue and red are not really compliments, but they work really well together in a painting. And so, basically, they make purple, and so blue and red make purple, so we can get a few colors out of my blue and red, and black and white, of course. And I've got the white here, and I've got black over here, and I will use that maybe for some of the really dark darks, because I'm going to use um, Ultramarine Deep as my blue, and my red... I just want to make it a red car. This was like a taxi cab in Chicago, and I didn't want to make it look like a taxi cab. I want to make it like a, a nice classic car, a nice bright red classic car. I don't even know what kind of car this is. Like, like a Plymouth or something. It's kind of a weird old car, but you know, I kind of like the I like the, all the shininess to it. And I know we did one before. Um, it's kind of kind of kind of the same kind of look, but it's always good to try these cars, and people love these cars. They um, they always sell, so um, that's a good thing. Welcome, Karen, Lynn, Barbie. And again, I'm in Nashville, and so hopefully nothing happens with my um, Wi-Fi here. It is Wi-Fi, so hopefully it is big enough Wi-Fi. And tomorrow I'm heading to Orlando to the NAMPTA show, and that's um, and going to be in Orlando. It's an expo. It's called NAMPTA Expo, and it's all for art supplies, art suppliers. It's not for artists, but I will be um, hopefully doing a class there. It's, um, some of the store owners, I guess, like people from Cheap Joe and kind of people like that are there. All right, so let's get going. So light to dark, right? So we're going to do the car right away. And um, all the darks, like this corner here, um, the grill inside here, anywhere there's dark, we're going to leave that alone. So we're going to go right into the car. And I'm going to make the car, like I said, a bright red car. And so we're going to start. And again, two colors, two colors, guys, only two colors. Um, this keeps you away from having to think about what the colors are. And actually with the car, it's not going to be that hard. Um, I kind of made it that way so that it wouldn't be this hard because I'm basically the car and I actually things around it too. 
and I can make it a purple out of my um, out of my blue and red because I'm using um, red and red and um, which my red is Scarlet Lake, and so I'm going to wet all my light areas, which is actually pretty everything except for the white and the chrome. I want to keep the chrome white, so I'm going to lay off of that for a little bit. I'm just going to go around the car because I'm going to just do the red of the car first. And again, ask questions, guys. I have several photographs from last summer of old cars that I want to paint. All right, Karen, go for it. Let me see them, too. They will sell. I mean, they really, I mean, it's the Midwest here, we have a lot of car enthusiasts. And so they sell really well here in the Midwest. And actually, I'm in Nashville right now. So um, maybe that's good, too, here. Classic cars are good everywhere. I mean, people love cars and classic cars are just one of those things. Again, ask questions if you need to. And so I'm, I made that all wet. And so to get the reflections, I'm going to keep them and try to do it all wet. Because I want them soft edged. Uh, and I can do even the dark parts of it wet. So I'm going to, I know that's a uh, yellowish mustard color, the car, which I don't want. Um, so I'm just going in here and I didn't tape it today because I was in such a hurry. And see how it's just blending upwards. And I'm going to keep some of that um, wetness right there. I do have paper towel here, so I don't have a towel. And this is a little bit too expensive a hotel. I don't want to use your towels here. <laughs> um, so we're going to go right here. We're just going to put this in there and let it bleed up. And there's going to be a little light right here. So I'm going to pull that out. And actually, you can also do that with white. So that's a little bit darker. Maybe pull a little bit of that out of there. I know that was kind of a fun. This on top should be a little bit darker. And if I use a little bit of blue, it'll make my red darker. Um, so make your red darker with a little bit of blue, and that'll make it purple. So up here's a little bit darker. Use it nice and thick. So I'm going to go right up here. And so see how we're going to keep it nice and shiny. And I can still do the hard edge stuff afterwards. I can do like a little bit more reflections, harder with harder edges um, later. Not right now. And actually I'm gonna take some of this out of there. And really, if you look, it's like a mirror when you're looking at metal like this, that's shiny, like a car is shiny. So a lot of times it reflects what's up above it. So you can, what's happening is it's reflecting this windshield in here and also the tree above. I can see in, in the reflection into the hood of this uh, car, I see reflections of the tree. And it just means it's darker, you know, it can be a little bit darker. And then I'm just going to kind of put a little bit like it's reflecting this windshield that will reflect in there. And there's also a little spot right here where it's it's shaped differently. So it'll be down a little bit. Down here, I'm just going to keep that. Now this side is in is in a reflection. is actually darker. So it kind of comes around here. I'm going right over this little um, fin. There's a little fin on the thing. Because that's going to be darker later. So I don't have to worry about that. Come to the top of the of the fender here. This is where the light is on this kind of the fender of the car. I'm just going to leave that light up on top and just kind of go dark right here. And I got to make this really dark, so I'm going to go with a pretty thick amount of paint. And so basically, I got out of the car like a half an hour ago and I set this all up. So it was a rush, boy. <laughs> and they were training somebody at the front desk of the hotel. I'm like, oh god, you got to hurry. You got to get. But it all worked out, so that's cool. That's cool. Oh, where's my blue? It's this blue right here. So ultramarine blue, blue deep. And so look how it makes it a purple. And so that's fine. Red and blue make a purple. So that'd be fine. Um, it's going to add a little bit more red into that purple. So it's more of a reddish, like a burgundy. And it'll show the shadow of the car. And these parts, like, um, and actually, like, you don't even see the wheel well in here. But I'm just going to make that dark after there. I'm just going to make it like the tire is black. And here the chrome will be darker. But I'm still going to leave a little white right there. And see how it just makes it a nice red and it just makes it shadows it. I wouldn't shadow, I don't like using darker red. I don't even use black because um, purple will look better than the black. And here, if I put a little black in there, it's okay to put the black in, but uh, give it, I'm giving the red a little bit more oomph, a little bit more color to it. So that's pretty much the car. And then I'm going to add a little bit of this red into the bumper because the bumper is chrome. And so it's going to reflect what's ever into the, on the um, car color into the, into the metal, the chrome. 
the chrome is just a mirror basically so you gotta think of it as a mirror just go in there and yeah so then here so i did have to stop here at 6 30 so i'm i still have 10 hours to drive tomorrow so i was like uh oh or like nine nine and a half hours i still gotta drive tomorrow to orlando in nashville here but it'll be i'll have to get up really early and then on saturday i got a class and so now we're gonna put a little bit of the windshield we'll do the windshield now so the windshield goes from a light and so i figure um the sky whatever the sky color is let me just rinse this out a little bit or i'll just keep the white of the paper i figure maybe a blue sky and that way i can put re blue reflections into the chrome too because right now it's just um a white sky but i want to make it a little bit more interesting and put a little bit of blue into the windshield a little bit and so it'll it'll look more like a blue sky then and then i'll go right to a really dark color to grays because that's what um it goes from a blue to a gray and again red white and blue being you know our our nation's colors um actually makes it look kind of classic too so it always helps to i've done a couple um paintings where i've used really bright blue and red and it just really works out well it's a good color combination and so i'll put a little bit of black into my color oh this is black right here so i'll put a little black over here and i'll do a reflection of the top here i'll go for my light because i want a soft edge and so the the windshield you can see only thing you can see is the um the mirror the rear view mirror right here what i'm going to do for that is i'm going to rub that out later but right now i just want to get the soft edge of don't even worry about the um the windshield wipers i'm gonna rub them out or use white you know whatever you need to do and also i'm going to put a little bit of red in there too what the heck make it dark with because it's going to be you know dark inside but also this being that the car is all red it's going to reflect in there too any questions guys thanks for stopping by this is that's a pretty good beer this so this beer is from a um from a place in which last week i didn't do and so i figured the beer from black mountain near Asheville. Oh, cheers everybody oh that's pretty good tiny bubbles though it does taste like soap a little bit <laughs> i wonder if that's just uh, in my head <laughs> there you go tiny bubbles all right so look at the nice windshields coming on there look at that and then we're gonna go right here Ask question, guys. And um, so the background, um, since we're only using two colors, if this was a green tree, don't make it green. You know, or if you were using it, I'm going to just, I only have two colors to use, so I'm just going to make it a dark. And so I'll probably make it a dark that's a little bit grayer. So I use the blue, black, blue and black, and I'll just go back here. And if it's supposed to look like trees, maybe there's a little bit of um, texture to it, like if it's the background. And actually just by making it so unnoticeable to figure out it's nothing really you don't have to actually explain anything there because it's just a dark and the picture is just a dark so that's fine too so I'm going up here and so um how do you get texture in there how um i can do a lot of different things i can take my paper towel maybe and do texture like that but keep it keep it dark look for the values number one thing is values I keep on tipping into that that's not that's not black so this is the only black i have right here so i'm just gonna go in there black and watch out oops i went into my windshield here a little bit i forgot to make the roof of the car red and i'll do that in a second um so again a little bit of blue a little bit of black and so my class down in Orlando will be, uh, it's not even a class, it's basically a, a paint along for some of these people who I, I don't think are artists, they're actually sellers of art supplies. And so it'd be interesting to see how, how they do with this. Um, I'm, I'm doing a beach scene and in oils on paper. So the, um, Holbein, not Holbein, Holbein oils, I'm using the aqua colors and we're going to be doing it on Legion's oil paper. They got a new paper out that's made for oil painters. So we're going to try that and see how they do again maybe a little texture with paper towel remember though if you're taking paper towel try not to make it wet paper towel because i don't want to take out the water i still want it to blend a little bit just want to give it a little bit of texture and then the same 
time, I am going to take a little bit of this um, dark color that I have, which is the blue and black, maybe a little bit of red, and I'm gonna um, in the windshield right here. You see, there's um, it's it's reflecting in what's a, behind it, which is the trees, right? And so you put in kind of like little trees, little tree leaves. And so I'm just gonna kind of put that in there, and this part can be a little bit soft edged. See how it makes it look like it's reflecting. It's a it's a mirror. Basically, think of the whole car as a mirror. It's basically what's happening. It's all either chrome or shiny paint, and so it's all reflecting everything around it in a car scene, which is great for um, learning how to use one color. The two colors that we're using, we use that everywhere, and thinking more about the values than you are thinking about the color. You don't have to think about the color. You just use the two colors that you're um, that you chose. And just think, okay, do I make this dark, this blue? And uh, what? since I'm using red and blue, I want my red to be in the center of interest. The main interest, I want it to be red because it's the brightest, right? I want that to pull that out. So I'm not sure what the, this may be like a, a mirror on the side or something. I'm not sure. And you notice how I do all the big areas first, no matter how dark or light I get. Um, I know there's lights in my, um, in the chrome, which let me put that in there right now. A little bit of light red and see the chrome goes across here so i'll do a little bit of light on the top and this little thing here looks like a horn or something i'm not sure well, is that a different kind of light i'm not sure but put a little bit of the light red in there it's kind of like a pink and that's the top part and so maybe i'll do that here a little bit remember leave white leave leave white of the paper for the chrome so that it can look nice and nice and bright and you don't want to put white paint on there to make it look really white. You kind of want to go with the... Now here I'm going to put a real light color of red in there. I'm just taking a wash, a, t a tint. So more water, more water than than pigment. A lot more water. What the heck is this? This goes down. Oh, this is something in front here. I must, not, I must have cropped in on this picture a little bit. Or I pulled... I, I know what I did. I... Um, I I painted more of the car. I drew up more of the car than it was actually in the picture. Any question, guys? Please let me know. So now we also want to have a little bit of chrome reflecting the street. The street would be gray, right? Or, or So underneath here, I'm going to go with a little bit lighter blue. Not the dark, dark stuff yet. Or some of the dark stuff. But I'm going to go with a little bit of gray in here. So again, this is my light areas, and so I'm just going to go in here with a light blue and reds. It's very simple when you just have to think about the values and not the color. And that's why I'm doing this exercise for you guys, so you don't have to think about the color. Just go with it. I mean, I only have two colors, red and blue. And I can make red, white, and black, and that'll just help me with the values of those colors. So a little bit of red. Anything red would be on top because it's the car color. So I'm going to put a little red on top of the light areas. So again, I'm doing the light parts. These are the light parts. I, I'm gonna go in with a really dark of those colors in a second, but right now, just the blue. Oops, don't dip into that blue. Just one color blue. And then with the middle tones, I'm putting the lights and middle tones in, which I didn't put in before, only because I wanna get the big area done up there. Sometimes it doesn't matter um, the exact, you know, if you wanna put some darks in right away, the big areas are almost more important. And so I'm putting a little bit of blue in there. Again, that's my blue over here. I'm looking at my picture. Again, middle tone, not my darks. And next week's demonstration will be three colors. And I would think... Okay, the newsletter will be a little bit later then because it's on Tuesday that I leave. Actually, Wednesday I leave. I see, I leave Tuesday, I come Wednesday. So um, we'll see if we can't get that newsletter written so we can figure something out for the three color. I will be back home uh, on Thursday, next Thursday. So we will have the we will have a paint along again. Got a nice little blue here, a little bit of red. See all my little light medium tones. And now I'll go in with my nice dark darks. And this is this is also um, chrome. Most of this is chrome on this car. 
which you don't see much on cars nowadays. You know, it's all it's all paint colors and and uh, the lamp of the reds and the whites and so you don't get much chrome anymore. But you do get reflective surfaces, which is something you just gotta um, take care of them. So I'm gonna take the blue and the red, and on top of the car, you just see right here, there's a little bit of a something. I'm just gonna put this in here right away. I'm waiting for this to dry, by the way, guys. And so I'm gonna might as well just do a couple of these little things here. And let's do this whole front and bottom part here because that's all just gonna be dark. And so while this is drying to get my darks in there, I'll do the big darks on the bottom here. So I'll wet it, wet it, wet it, wet it, right up to the chrome. And if it does bleed into that because this is wet, that's fine because this is not important about them here. Matter of fact, I would rather it be that it just blends into the into the chrome of the car. So I'm wetting it, and then I'm going to use soft. Let me pull this here. <laughs> so I'm going to use black and this blue again to match the color up on top, nice and thick with the paint. Because remember, when the surface is wet. Um, oh, somebody asked a question. Would neutral tint work better than black to deepen the red or blue? Neutral tint is not as black. It's sort of, it's more of a gray neutral tint. And so if you want to get a black, I would use a black instead of a neutral tint only because that's more of a gray. So it will not make it darker. It'll just make it more gray. So I would go ahead, Paula, and use black. Neutral tint, again, is very close to black, but it's, it's not quite as um, rich a black. So it's up to you, you can try it. And remember, the thicker the paint, it won't run in as far, but this will be okay to have the, a little bit of the um, darkness down here, or the softness on the bumper, because I really don't want to, I don't really need a hard edge line down here, because I want you to look down there. And anything that's hard edged and contrast, you're gonna look at. So I'll keep it soft edge, and I'll just use a lot of paint so it doesn't run into my wetness. So I'm gonna go in here and make it, you know, twice as dark as you could possibly can because it looks dark right now, but once you, once that water evaporates, it's whatever pigment you have left. So make sure you have a lot of pigment in your, in your brush. And this does look like it's, um, solid uh, in my video and on, on my laptop here right now, but it isn't. There's still, you can see through because I used a lot of blue. And so it's not just solid black. There's a little bit of um, color in there of the, of the blue. All right. And so that's that part. Let's put this over here. This table washes off. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> I don't want to get charged for ruining your table with my paint, with my watercolor paint. <laughs> All right. And so now let's put a little bit of red up here in the top for the car, the top, the roof of the car. Let's get that in there real quick. And, um, Let's start off with our darks. And so I'll start off with um, the bigger darks. And so that would be the inside the grill here. And I can't see, I didn't lighten it up enough to see if there's like grill, like lines or anything. If you want to put something like that in there, you can do that. You know, go ahead and put it in or just make it solid dark or what I'm gonna think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some blue and then just do this first and make it look like there's a grill in there. And then go over that with just slightly lighter color. And because um, I get again, I'm not sure I couldn't see that, but as a car enthusiast, I know that a lot of times the grills are just you know, on these old cars, they're like they're they're chrome also in there, a little little grill, and um, maybe this won't have that. And the thing about stop dipping into there. <laughs> You're already so used to dipping into other things. And so I'm going to go right here, right into the headlight. And so I'm going to let this dry and I'll put a color over that to make it dark again. But I'm just doing the dark like you can see inside there. And I'm going to bring that down to here too. A little bit of that down here. Let's see. Would that be down there too? Mm. I don't know why not. Let's try it. I'm making that up because, again, I can't see anything in there. And I'm just kind of making it up as I go along here. So maybe I'll do the same thing. Just go with a black and dark blue. This is the dark behind these, maybe the grill marks. And over here, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to make it dark. And just make a nice dark in here. Gosh, I stopped dipping into other things. 
So the black goes in here. And this is like a turn signal, I think, down here. And that itself is, gosh, is that a different color? Is that orange or? We'll see. So growing up, my dad was a mechanic and he owned a shop, but only for um, import cars. So he was working a lot on VWs. He worked a lot on VW Bugs or VW in general, Volkswagen um porsche audi audis porsches mercedes all like german cars he would be working on once a while i get an american car in there but he was basically um worked for import cars which is kind of nice except i always drove around <laughs> my first car was a vw bug <laughs> so um because it was i could afford it and then i actually went to a bus to a vw bus and so i, I was like a hippie i guess you could say in high school And so we're going to go in here. So I grew up as a as a mechanic's son, and so I learned how to work on cars, and I could pull an engine from a VW in no time. And, um, and then I actually started working at a marina where I learned how to work on engines, or boat engines, boat boat engines. And it was right across from the high school, actually, where I, um, where I lived. And so that was kind of fun. I grew up in an area where it's very... Um, very rural and a lot of lakes. We call it the Chain of Lakes. Still is a Chain of Lakes. <laughs> it didn't change. <laughs> I still live in the area though. I will move back and after school, American Academy of Art, I moved back. So here we go. We're gonna just kind of. And also, Chrome has a lot of um, reflections, so anything around the area is gonna reflect in there. So if you have like little lines and stuff and little dabs of color, that would be great, uh, especially on on the bumper. Because it's basically a mirror, so you got to think of the mirror as everything around is is reflecting in there. Like on, on this part of this chrome part of the grill, that's going to reflect everything that's down here. So this red will be in there, and also what's straight on. Because if you're looking straight on, it's like, are there trees back there? And so I I know I remember this could be a whole scene in here. I could I could put like me standing there taking a picture of this car and and all that kind of stuff. I can go in here and just kind of. You know, put everything you want in there to make it look like it's a scene. That's what it is. It's basically a mirror. It's basically a mirror from what you see um, that's bowed. Like those funny mirrors that you see in like the carnival. That's what it is. It's a funny mirror. So your face would be like really weird here. So if you want to hide like a little picture in there, you know, maybe that's a cool thing. <laughs> hide a picture in there um, from your area. Or you can say this is in Florida. You put some palm trees in there or whatever you know whatever kind of story you want to put into your painting that's always a good thing put stories into your paintings i always like to hide things in my paintings too i had a um once i had an exhibition where it was on 11 11 11 and i always had all these 11 things inside the painting so have fun with your paintings put put secret messages in there for people like for my students i, I should put secret messages in some of the paintings Oh, I see some queen. My first car was also a bug, and my parents had a bus. All right, VWs. <laughs> We're all hippies back then. <laughs> I'm a mechanic's daughter. He also sold Plymouth and Dodge. All right, Marianne. Yep. And our cars were always the worst. My dad was a mechanic, but cars never ran away. <laughs> They're always the worst cars, I swear to God. And so here we're going to go and put a little bit of the reflection of this. This is a dark um, piece of, um, so it's in the shadow. So you're not going to get any white in here, but you will get lighter parts. But I, I don't want to put any white in here because this is the shadow side. So nothing in here should be as light as in the light side. So don't make that light, make that dark. And right outside my building at the highway, I can see out there. I should put my camera out there to show you where I'm at. All right, so what do we got here? We got a little dark red on this side here. So take a little bit dark red. And your palette should be, um, it should have a lot of that in it already from your first wash. So just use what's in your palette because those are the only two colors you're using. So don't waste this. Just um, go in here and take that color and get your colors that you need in your painting. I look at every mark I put in there. It makes it look more and more chrome-like and all the shininess to it. It's all these reflections and these lines and... You know, it's basically all reflections is what it is. 
and then use these same colors throughout the whole thing. So here, nice red. You can even sign your name in there. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll sign my name in there. <laughs> That'll be my way of showing a little secret thing in there. Okay, so this goes around and a little bit of chrome on this side. I should keep on dipping into this. I think that's black. Hope it's not getting too dark in here that you can't see anything. Uh, these cameras are pretty good nowadays. It's amazing what these cameras can do. So now this side of this um, is pretty dark. This part of the bumper, little bumper bumper. And so we're going to go down here, make some of this red. You know, so I'm using a smaller brush now too. When I'm doing details, don't use a brush that you can't handle when you're doing your details. You know, go for this brush that best fits the purpose of what you're doing. Here, I'm going to put a little bit of shadow. There can be also shadow. Like here's a little shadow. I'm going to go around this. I'm going to paint this little horn or whatever this thing is. I think it's the horn. I think. I don't know. Again, I don't even know what kind of car this is. I think it's a Plymouth because it says what? Or Triumph? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what car this is. Now, if this was orange, this thing, I, I can't do that. So I'm just going to make it a, a red, some whatever. And because I don't have another color to use. So if it was an orange or yellow, that's too bad. I'm only using two colors. I'll make it. And for headlights, um, back in the old days, they used to have these little lines through there. And so you just make these little lines because the glass was um, formed in certain ways. So put these little lines in there. It'll look more glass like, like the headlamp. Headlight of a car. Look closely at the picture, you'll see like the little lines and the headlights and the lights because it's the way they're formed. So this goes underneath, so that should be a little bit darker. And we're getting close, guys. Look at this. How much time do we have? My gosh, we have all half hour. We're slow down. Ask some question guys. Okay. Uh, <laughs> We had a VW Rabbit in the early 90s, but when the third child came in hubby at 6'9", the Rabbit didn't stay in the family though, very long. I actually drove a, um, not a Rabbit, it was, what was the next one? That was not the Rabbit, it was the, oh, I was in Germany for a month and we rented, what was the next one up from, Jetta. We rented a Jetta and it was uh, myself and I was there, brand new Jetta. And we took it on the Autobahn. Oh my gosh. We rattled the cage on that thing. <laughs> it had two miles when we left the um, rental place. And when we brought it back, it was hundreds of miles because we spent about almost a month in Europe traveling all around right before I got my job at an advertising agency. And we brought it back. The, uh, super dirty. <laughs> all the bugs and stuff. And I was like, I felt kind of bad because it was a brand new Jetta, a white Jetta. But I did over 100 miles an hour on that thing on the Autobahn. And so the Jetta was fine. All these people had Jetta or VWs. <laughs> now I feel it's because uh, my dad, I, I think I stopped buying VWs because my dad, every, every VW I had it always ran terrible or I had to put a new engine in it. Or, <laughs> uh, like I said, dad's car, um, mechanic cars are the worst cars. And so I said never again, especially with the VW bug because they didn't have heat. <laughs> it basically was air heat um, from the box in the back. And it was just horrible in the winters in, in near Chicago. So I got rid of rabbits. I didn't or didn't a uh, rabbit was actually okay. I mean you got when they got the rabbit instead of um a VW bug. All right, let me think what else we got here. We're gonna do a little bit more. Now we're gonna take the fine fine detail stuff. The um so I was saying about rubbing rubbing the headlight out or the um rear view mirror out. So right here is a rear view mirror, right? And so right about there, so watch this. I'm just gonna rub with water. Take my paper towel, dab it, and there we got it. See, just a little hint of the mirror. You don't have to do much. You don't have to use white paint. Just dab, rub a little bit, rub it out. This should have a little bit of red in probably this little um, mirror here. I think I'm gonna make this a little bit darker down here where the, where the hood reaches the bottom because there's always gonna be a little bit dark right there. If you feel like you don't want to do this car, but paint your own car, um, hey, that's fine with me. Paint whatever you like, um, uh, car-wise. I do want to see me do a car because cars are fun. And like I said, they sell really well. I don't think I've ever kept one. 
I won't have two this time because I don't I wasn't in class today and so there was no one to show you beforehand because I was on the road all day and actually there was boy there was a backup I thought I was even gonna get here um, but thank God for GPS's because they took me the back road around Nashville and I got here because there's an hour delay and boy those things really help out so use your GPS and let Google um, Maps some um, let you know it was an hour delay and it took me around it and i was like yes and so i got in time to what give you guys this <laughs> this demonstration here all right so what else we got left we got the headlight or the um windshield wipers so we're going to do this right here uh thanks maura yeah i will go over the grade again uh maura asked if i'm going to go over the grade yes i will go over that again I'm going to make the shadow part of it. Because really, it's in the shadow completely in the, on the picture. And then, Tina, I think your foxes will be coming back in this season. I don't know. I'm going to see when I get back home if they're... Um, they haven't been there yet. Um, Tina's asking about my foxes. I had seven foxes in my backyard last year. And so we're going to see if they come back. They say they usually do come back. And see here, here Tina, or I mean, Mora here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a little bit of light. I'm going to leave a little bit of light and some in the bottom part, but the top part I'm going to just kind of shadow up, shadow down a little bit with the blue. Same thing over here, I'll shadow it down a little bit. Because it'll still shine through because behind it is black, and so, and I, I was saying to get my, let me sit up here a little bit. <laughs> I'm sick, suck, sunk in this couch here. And so now for the, or for the windshield wipers, it looks like we have a windshield wiper here. So again, rub, rub, rub. Just rub and then take paper towel. Maybe we'll get a new one. Take okay, paper towel and then just dab it. And then see how I just get a little bit of line. So take a little bit of water on your brush, rub it across. This works great on Stonehenge. Not so great on arches because arches sucks in. So I like Stonehenge for that reason that I, when I do this and I rub over a little bit, I can just pull it right out and it's not going to soak into the paper. Super, super, super definitely into the paper like it doesn't soak in as much we're gonna put a little bit dark in here to get a little bit of the the windshield wiper go here again i think i'm gonna push that back a little bit a little bit here make that a little bit darker push that to the back look at how nice that thing is looking isn't that great isn't that fun have fun with this i know um a couple of people say, oh, we're doing another car. Oh, come on. Yeah, we love doing cars, don't we? <laughs> and like I said, if you want to do your own car, um, a classic car they have pictures of, that's, you know, I'm absolutely cool with that. Love to see it, too. Now here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use my real fine brush real quickly. we still got plenty of time. Oh, my gosh, it's only 7.08. We're going to get done really far, fast. I will have to go get something to eat today because I have not eaten a thing yet. <laughs> so with this beer, I'm going to get a little beer. Tiny bubbles. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Oh. Hey, Barbie. I raced a rabbit down Route 12 with my mom's pacer. Oh, my God, a pacer. <laughs> the pacer beat the rabbit. <laughs> That's awesome. Pacer, I thought that was the coolest looking car. I mean, it was I, it was in, it was one of those cars that I, I went to the auto show and I remember seeing a Pacer. And if you ever, if you live in Chicago or near your Chicago, since my dad worked in cars, we always went to the auto show. And Mc, um, it was McCormick Place, I think. Or, yeah, up there, and I still have it to, to this day. I think it was just a couple weeks ago that auto show was on. And um, we used to go there all the time. I remember seeing the Pacer. And then, actually, my favorite car when I went to the other show was a Capri, a Capri. And it was like, I'm going to get a Capri when I get a... And the dad goes, yeah, right, you're going to get that. You're going to take and uh, get a um, VW Bug is what you're going to get. <laughs> All right. A little bit of dark here. So a little history lesson today also. <laughs> Besides painting, I gave you a little history lesson of my dad and myself and our, our love of VW Bugs. <laughs> okay, a little shadow there. Now this should look like a really dark wheel. So black, just take black and go in here and make the wheel and maybe make it look rounded. Just um, 
So it looks a little bit, and you can't see that. I can see that, and I think my thing. I can't even see that. See a little bit of see. There's like a little bit of wheel. All right. Let me take a look at it from a distance, and I think that's it, guys. You guys see anything else, Tina <laughs> or Mora? <laughs> I think I put the cover over that. Oh, um, there are actually a few letters there for the for the name of the car. I'm just going to fake them because I have no idea what kind of car this is. So I'm just going to put little dots there to kind of make it look like some kind of car. I have no idea. And I guess I could. Also, I didn't put enough red in here. So in the reflection here, I'm going to put some dark, bright red. Also, oh, I forgot with sparkle. What you can do is you can hit little things of white, like take little take um, solid white and put little fleckles. You know, little flickles, I guess you can call it, or specks of, um, of white to make it look shiny. Like it's, it's like um, when you're doing a lake and you get the little bright lights off the lake, the little dots, the little bright parts, you can just take white. I'm going to take with my little small rigger brush. Let's take solid white, nice and thick. And this would take it so that you couldn't enter it like TBSA, but you could also put masking fluid there too. But little hits where it hits the corners and stuff. Just put a little, little where the sun would hit the corners. You can put a little light here on the top of this thing. Like white is kind of dirty here, so little specks of white. You can also use a couple of people have started using the thing called pro white or um it's almost like uh, a pro white comes in a bottle and uh, you know i don't mind them using that either because it's like a pure solid white and if you want to use that to put over something that's fine so i'm just kind of going in here and putting little fleckles and dots and and also even on the white there will be shiny little dots sometimes uh, along things because it's it's metal and so the sun is so bright that it's hitting it and it's making a dot of light and it's sparkling in your eyes. So don't be afraid of putting little dots here and there. I don't want to do it on that one because that's in shadow. But only stuff that's in in line of the sun, not in shadow, that, that wouldn't happen. It's only where the sun is hitting the front. And I can put little dots here, see? Little dots here, little dot. Even on the top of the car here, maybe a little bit. It's almost like a highlight on a nose, you know, because it looks wet. Um, a car looks wet because it's shiny and you're waxed, you wax it, so it's going to get that look where it's like shiny. And even on this little, um, maybe this thing over here going to have a few little dots on it because it's black, but it's also shiny. So shiny mat doesn't matter if it's black or white, it will still have little reflections and dots of the, of the brightness of the same little dots there. All right, I think, guys, that's it. Chrome ornament. Is this a chrome ornament here? I think that's what oh, this is, and so I just did that. And then this chrome ornament, we can just put a little, I don't know, I'm sure what that is, but we put that in there like that. All right, guys, so tomorrow I'm off to Orlando, and um, today I'm in Nashville. And um, so still put up your put up your painting on my Facebook page. And until next Thursday, which I'll be back, and I'm not sure what you have. If you want to give me a suggestion of anything you want to paint, always remember, I always take suggestions. It's nice because um, then I have to think about what we're painting next. <laughs> and that way you may want to paint something that you would like. And maybe you don't like cars, but... Um, so until next week, we'll see you guys later, all right? See you later. And then just one more check, one more check to see if anybody has any questions. Thanks, Kathy. I will travel safe. I'll try to travel safe as much as I can. <laughs> hopefully there's no, I'm going to cross my fingers. Hopefully there's no more accidents along the way and make me stay because I've got to get there in like nine hours. So, <laughs> so thanks guys. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.